Jolter. Jay Mike. Today, we have something on the table for you. As always. As always, brand new CR7 Signature Boots Chapter 4. And they look, I gotta say, I've been looking forward to doing this video because they are absolutely, fantastically good looking. They look clean. They and look... that's the end of the video. And <laughs> Goodbye, see you next time. <laughs> no, obviously, we're gonna talk about these today because I gotta say, I think this, I'm just gonna say right now, I think this is the best of the chapter boots for CR7 made up until this you point. Think? I think. I but disagree. Let, but let's just uh, let's just talk about the story behind it before we get into the whole discussion thing because I get a feeling this is going to take a while. Anyways, uh, this is about Cristiano Ronaldo's time in Manchester for uh, Manchester United. Obviously, we saw uh, his last uh, chapter three boot was about his time really coming of age at Sporting. So it was uh, some sort of green, is what they said. It looks. Well, black, but but this was the boot uh, for his time in sporting. So obviously he moved to Manchester United, uh, which is why it's called Forged for Greatness because Manchester is an industrial city. That's pretty clever, Nike. And also because his body and his skills was forged into the superhero-like player that he was. So, uh, you know, you kind of get the deal forged, iron and fire and... Brand new forged. Cool story, pal. I think it kind of explains itself. And the thing that it's not, and the first thing that I thought when I saw these before I knew the story was that, hey, this is a reference uh, to the Superfly 2 Elites from the World Cup 2010. But the problem was, Jolta, do you know where he played in 2010? Was it already Real Madrid? It was already Real Madrid. Damn, girl! Yes! <laughs> Wikipedia over here. But, 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 I mean, going back to the, to the whole uh, story thing, I actually think that it's... It's a pretty cool little nod to, uh, especially Manchester as a city, that the, the heritage they have as an industrial city. Um, maybe the, the, the clash of colors, the, the, the chrome and the orange, is a bit unfortunate in terms of not wanting to couple it with the, the, the Superfly 2 Elite colorway, but I can kind of see where they're coming from and I actually think, think it looks really, really, really cool. I think it looks very nice. Yes. What's even better though is the fact that it has on the inside of uh, the insole here on the vapor. As we can see, we have the logo forged uh, for greatness with, uh, with the bolt and the hammer and all that stuff. And then on the heel, we have, do you see? It says uh, XXVIII. Do you know what that means in Latin? 2007. It means 28. Okay. Because that's the number that Ronaldo had playing for Sporting that he thought he would get when he came to Manchester United. But what did he get? Uh, what did he get? What can you see? What is highlighted on the heel? It says B I I A K A 7. 7. A K A. Boom. The legendary jersey number Manchester United has keep, kept on giving to legendary players. So you see, 28, 7 is a part of 28. Boom, it ended. Wow. It is nice. It, and I actually, I like the, the insole graphic. Yes. I think it's pretty cool. It you is. Know? It Not is. that nobody ever looks at them, but it's a nice little touch. It's a touch. nice little touch. I yeah. mean, they want to make this, uh, like, they want to give this a little bit more love than the usual pair of, of Vapors, the Superflies. It's also in the Superfly, by the way. So I think it's, it's a very cool little touch. Let's have a proper look at it. Can I take it out? You can take it out. If you, if you can. <laughs> should, we, should we put on some waiting music here? Let's no, not I'm take gonna, it. I'm not gonna take it out. <laughs> Fame of the day. But but let's let's talk about uh, you know the, the the reference here because it's no secret that like for me this period of time was one of the the craziest periods of time to be a Manchester United fan because in here comes this young 18 year old takes number seven you've barely heard of him you've just seen him destroy John O'Shea in a in a in a friendly game against Sporting and you know nothing about him. Uh, David Beckham just left. We just missed out on Ronaldinho. I mean, I was, my heart was broken. I, I, was, I wasn't very old, my heart was broken. I was thinking, what is going on? And then comes Cristiano Ronaldo and just won my heart back. Like that. I gotta say, you know, it was fun to watch Manchester play when Ronaldo was playing, you know? Yes. And I remember the first time I heard about CR7, I was reading a gold magazine as a little boy. And then, well, I wasn't that little, but I was still reading Gold Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and there was an article about this upcoming player who had just made his debut with Manchester United. And then I discovered CR7. And, you know, obviously, my life would never be the same again. 
you should have told that story for the discovery <laughs> booth, but but anyway, I, I think I, I think you know the world kind of changed when Cristiano came to to of Manchester course. United because he really established himself or forged himself, if you want, uh, into a superstar. And he was forged by by Mr. Ferguson and his his uh, coaching staff into becoming the player that he was. He became like a freaking machine. Oh, uh, yes. growing into this monster, grew wings on his back. I, I don't, I don't even know if I have those muscles in my body. Like, <laughs> he's just, he got so massive, and he got faster, and he got his his shooting technique improved. And we all remember that free kick goal that he scored against uh, Portsmouth. Again, AKA against the Portsmouth. best goal of all time. That is, that saying. is seriously good. But, 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 Jolter, you mentioned that you didn't think that this is the best looking of the CR7 uh, signature chapter, however many there's going to be boots. Which is the coolest then? I'm going to go with the previous chapter. Yes. You know? I really, I, I'm digging this, you know? And yeah, green, whatever. To me, this <laughs> is not green. To me, it looks like black and yellow. Yes. You know, it is black and yellow. And I think, as you have maybe seen in some of the previous episodes, to me, black and yellow is a dope mix, you know, when it comes to football boots. And I just think this boot looks know. mean, you know? I think it, this is super nice. Mean. And to me, this is even better than the new one, you know? Yes? You think it's better? Yes. I, oh, I love... I I think... Uh, and then we have the, like, the, the, the Swarovski crystals. Where, where the crystals you know, in all the CR7 signature boots, it's kind of, you know, turning me off a little bit to see the, the, the branding, you know? Yeah. I get it. But, but that's because you... Here, here, especially in the vapor, this is so nice. It's like carved into the upper. Yes. But then the seven is maxed out. You know, I, I think it would be even cooler if the seven was the same as the CR. But you, it you would know, be a little bit more subtle. But then you know? it wouldn't be Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, he wants the, he likes the bling. He likes the, uh, the the spotlight, the center stage. What I think is cool is that the CR7 branding on on the Superfly is kind of uh, it's been embossed, so so it kind of uh, yeah. goes out from the boot a bit like it's been forged in iron into the boot whereas on the vapor it's kind of it kind of goes into the boot so it's yeah. kind of opposites I, I think that's that's a pretty cool little thing but i gotta say that the whole gradient orange gradient coming from the sole going up mixing with uh the metallic chrome silver gray whatever you want to call this color and the hue that it's got i think it is ridiculously good looking it looks very nice and, right. and it's just it's just one agree. of those boots that I really just want to put on and go out to play because it looks absolutely fast. It's nice, but to me this is still a little bit more dope. There's like a there's like a scale of dopeness. Oh. This is up there, you know. This is a little bit below. A bit, a, a funny thing, where where do you would you place yourself on the scale of dopeness? Uh, above or below I'm, I'm, these? I'm not even on the scale because I, I made the oh, scale. You know? I'm the granddaddy <laughs> of the scale of dope. This is getting way out of hand. <laughs> Listen, now that we're talking about CR7 signature boots, uh, we gotta we gotta figure out which the best looking is. And obviously we can't choose uh, the limited edition boots because they just look so far and above okay. uh, better than anything else. Uh, so the, the widely released CR7 boot, which is the best? Well, if not the best, let's just put it like this. It's up there. For those of you guys that don't have never seen this boot, well, you're welcome. Because this, my friends, is something else. Just look at the upper. I, I don't think we even need to say anything. You know, I, it's I would... a super fly with a glowing, like, uh, you know, sparkling upper. It's crazy looking. It looks, hey, you know what? Okay, I'm wearing pants that kind of have the same effect. Oh no. This is like a... Oh no. You know what? This is like a velour upper. And I'm wearing... <laughs> I had to do it. I'm wearing velour <laughs> oh, pants. Jesus. You know? <laughs> the, oh, you know what? This is it. This is the velour football boots. And they look incredible, you know? It's not too blingy, but it just like... <laughs> it just makes you, you know, <laughs> as DJ Khaled would say, bow down. <laughs> Oh, I can't breathe over here. Wow, that is... I didn't expect that coming. I was gonna say this boot as well, but but with 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 this discovery, that this is a velour football boot. I'm it gonna, is! I'm it gonna... is a velour football boot. <laughs> Seriously, there's nothing you can say. And, you know, 
It's, it's clean, it's mean, it's classy. Let, let, let's get rid of this, because I'm going to choose this instead. Because this is, this is, if not as good as the Velour CR7 boot, this just looks a lot better, I think. It's black, it has the big Nike logo on it. Vaporate, take it, but we don't want no Velour here. We're cool cats. Yeah, this, is a little, this is a little bit too boring for me, you know? I think so. No? Oh, seriously, I think we, 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 all the other boots on the table look better than this one. We never on the scale agree. of dopeness. But I think that <laughs> in, in terms of in terms of uh, you know all the CR7 boots that have been released, I think this is right up there among the very very best, especially the Vapor. I think you know if if we wanna if we wanna talk about his boot uh, history and his timeline and stuff, it just looks more right with a low cut boot because that's why I really remember the young CR7 4. So, mm. uh, so I think the Vapor is, is spot on. And yes, it also looks a little bit like uh, the 2010 World Cup Superfly 2 Elite. Just, just so you guys can see, we're gonna get a picture on the screen. You ready for it? All right, Arr, here. It, it kind of, it's kind of the same. It looks but, similar. But, but then again, you know, moving back to the boot, I think with with the gradient coming from from below rather than from uh, you know the big block on the heel, yeah, I think yeah. I think it kind of goes to to distinguish itself. And um, and then the only problem would be that this kind of looks like the Messies, but that's a whole other discussion. And just for the purpose of being cool, we just wanted to take this guy here as well. Yeah, that was the start of the whole uh, chapter uh, one to uh, seven, I think it is. Yes. For the CR7 boots. Inspired by the volcanoes in Ronaldo's home island of Madeira, of right Madeira. outside the coast of, you know, the mainland Portugal. Pretty cool. Um, Pretty cool. Then we have the rough diamond boots, the blue ones, uh, that kind of showed his uh, progression into being um, a really a diamond uh, amongst uh, all the other talents in uh, in Portugal. Then of course came the Discovery Boots, and then we have chapter four, which is for And here we have the chapter five. Oh, oh sorry. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Well, my question is, what will chapter five be for Ronaldo? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was asking the guys oh, on the okay. other side of the ah. screen. Because guys, as always, you can actually win the Vapor 11, because yesterday we did a playtest where we're giving away the Superfly, so now you can win the Vapor 11 by telling us what you think the next version, the Chapter 5 of the CR7 boots will be. And or should be. Or should be, that's, that's actually even better. Yeah. Tell us what they would or what they should be, and you can win one of these boots. Just really rounding them off super quickly on the tech side of thing, nothing is new, so, uh, so there's that. Uh, it's just a standard Vapor and a standard Superfly. And I think with those words, give us a really, really, really dope idea to what Chapter 5 should be. And Jolter, I think you need to go and have a seriously hard look at which kind of pants you're wearing. <laughs> because Velour... No, it's guys, amazing. guys, I'm gonna let this guy think about life and how he makes decisions. And I'm gonna see you next time signing off. And the hat, Cheerio. It's a wow. suede hat. It's such, it, it, On the scale of dopeness, suede and velour. Suede are up and velour? Here. Are you kidding me? Listen, are, are you, this, uh, is, this is the thing nowadays, you know? Suede, velour. But then I'd rather be old fashioned, and I probably am. Yes, okay. But still, suede and velour. But. Uh, I wish I could, you know, <laughs> like fully reveal my, my suede. This you you can, you can sit so on the table. Funny. You can sit on, on the table. You know what? Table. I'm going to have to sit on the table. You can sit on the table. This is some next level stuff. So, velour pants. You can kind of see the reference here, right? This is like a, a shiny, like a little bit of this glow right here. Um, and on the boots, we have similar kind of vibes. I, you know, I couldn't make this up you myself. Just, you, I couldn't. You've literally just ruined this boot for me. You've just ruined it for me. Even the, it, it even it feels. feels like velour. What is happening, Nike? They, are, they were ahead of their time. You just gotta put it like that. Ahead of their time. 